indices have seen a massive reversal yesterday specifically the us 30 and us 100 and uh, not only us 30 but us 100 has seen a massive massive drop in fact the post closing of the market itself it is almost down now one percent and has achieved 4200 levels now what to expect from dex FTSE 100 nasdaq 100 and dow jones which position you should take what should be our strategy we will see with the help of charts and indicators the next update on us indices will be released before the us session those who are new to the channel must subscribe to the channel in order to get the live updates and yes uh, twice a day updates on major global markets and commodities is what we provide and your every like comment share is a great motivation for me to deliver twice a day and to the best of my ability updates thus do press the like button do share subscribe and comment as well let's start first dex followed with FTSE 100 then nasdaq and in the end watch till the end now remember dax is trying to break out on the daily charts here below 700 do not stay long in dax below 14700 do not stay long in dax we are looking forward for it to break below 14600 as well but i will come back to this later let's start first on the early on the early charts there was a gap which is almost filled here as max it may try to fill the gap once it stays above 14780 one can expect a little rise above 14800 820 remember these are greater resistances for dax here and only and only if it stays beyond 14850 we can treat this for a reversal but still if you look at the early chart see here 14900 provided it a maximum resistance and then 14950 levels here so achieving the highs we have seen it dropping and now if it stays below 14740 levels we can expect a further drop towards 14700 then 600 and in fact 500 levels as well the stock is coming out of the oversold levels. MACD is still staying bearish. It is trying to continue with the bearish momentum. RSI is staying flat. Coming to the 2 Now on the 2 hour chart, this is signaling a reversal here. After bearish candles, it is signaling a reversal. It can retrace towards 14.8, zone. Yes, there is a probability that it can retrace, but these are going to remain great, great, great resistance. Thus, if you see the prices staying above 14.780 levels, this is the level where you can buy. But then 800, 820, and 850 yes greater resistance as long as 850 is respected do not treat dex as bullish beyond that is where we can expect the momentum to continue and also it's probable that achieving the highs here at 820 850 we can see a fall from there the stock stick is oversold call solidity recovery magd is bearish rsi is flat on the 3 hour charts if you look at similar observation but on the 3 hour charts one important part is still it's trying to stay bearish and a breakout below 14740 will call for similar size of candle taking it till towards 14700 680 and then 650 600 levels as well be watchful here stay short below 14740 more bearishness may prevail there the stock has take over sold magd crossing over for a sell this is a bearish sign here this is just the second red candle more candles can come here rsi is staying flat coming to four arch now on the four archers only part is the uh, candle size is getting diminished though the market is closed but still you will find the bearishness getting diminished here thus beyond 820 850 zone is where we can say that the bulls are trying to take over else it is still it may still achieve further low than a breakout here may take it towards 14700 and below levels a stock has take over sold macd on the verge of a crossover for sell rsi is staying flat coming to the daily on the daily chart, it is important to note that the preceding candle has raised the gains from the previous candle and now it is resuming on the downside. It is trying to give a break, specifically once the price stays below 14,740 and then 14,700. Treat this as a reversal and a massive break on the downside can be expected from there, which might take the prices in fact below 14,600. Thus, below 14,700 do not think of buying dex here it is going to give a breakout at the same time on the upside look at the divergence of the price from the moving average which is right now sitting at around 15100 thus see only and only if it breaks past the highs here you can treat this as bullish though a buying entry at 780 can be taken but i will look forward to a reversal only and only if it stays above 14850 levels the stock has take rising magd is bearish and rsi is flat so just buy at 820 sell at or rather i'll say buy at 780 sell it 740 on the downside 700 on the upside 850 this is the zone where we have to remain extra cautious watchful alert below 700 more bearishness above 850 more bullishness but still 880 920 is the zone which you should watch out for i do not see uh, dropping or rising towards those levels here now let's have a look at you 
So UK 100 moving averages crossing over here, trading with divergence. You can see a flat top at around 7420, giving it out a greater resistance. Though, as we discussed yesterday, that price is at some point of time may achieve 74340 uh, zone. It has gone close to it and has reversed. If you look at the momentum right now, see 7360 levels, greater, greater support here. It is trying to trade with the support below 7360. You can stay short and I will be looking forward to 7320, 7340 levels. Yes, this are very, very strong support at 7340 and 7320. If you also look at the early charts, consolidation going on here, 400, 420 definitely is a greater, greater resistance. A stochastic rising from the oversold, Magni bearish RSI flat. Coming to 2R, look at 2R chart, the drop here, the retracement towards the 50 period and now trying to move downside again. I will wait for it to break below the support zones at 7.360 for more bearishness but then 7.340, 7.320, this is the zone which is the next strongest support which you should be watchful of. Stochastic oversold, Magni crossing over for itself, important sign, uh, it is trying to trade bearish here. RSI has flat. Coming to 3 hour chart. Now look at 3 hour chart. See the resistance here, very strong, achieving the highs. Now we can see a fall here and see the candle size diminishing. This candle is going to be important. The next candle, once the price stays below 7360, that is the time below which the bears will be taking over for 734020 and below 7320, 7 to 80, 7 to 50 levels will be seen. A stochastic oversold, Magdi trying to converge, RSI staying flat. On the four, one thing on the four hour chart, see here higher highs, higher low. So, yes, it is getting at the bottom below 7360 zone is where slight bearishness, else uh, hitting the bottom, there is a possibility of a reversal as well. And thus, if you see it is staying above 7390, we can initiate a buying position. Therefore, 7410, 7420, 7440 levels on the upside are greater, greater resistances. So, yes, 7390 can be taken. Stochastic at bottom, magnesium. RSI is also at bottom coming to the daily. Now on the daily charts, look at one point. See swings here and swings here. 7320, 7430. 110 points, 55 points is where the median is. And if you count 55 points, 7370 levels here. So this is almost now at median. Thus, if you see the price is staying below the median here, staying below the median, 7360 levels specifically, you can expect that it may try to go towards the bottom of this zone. Thus, below 7360, stay short. We are looking at 7340, 7320 and then this time we may see for the lows towards 7280, 7250 as well. At the same time on the upside, once it stays above 7390, expect it to rise towards 7420 as the major, major resistance here. And if it breaks past 7420, certainly the bulls will be taking over short 7440 and plus plus levels. Thus, take your trades accordingly. Now, let's have a look at NASDAQ 100. And before we proceed to NASDAQ 100, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can join my mentorship batch. 27th batch is going to start on 20th of November. Limited seats are available. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram email IDs are available. And yes, most importantly, now you can register and book on my payments page in my platform www.forex.com. Here is a look of the platform www.forexfunda.com and here under the tabs announcement under the mentorship details you will find the details related to batch, the curriculum, the timeline and along with the form to submit your interest and you can yes proceed ahead with the payment and book your seats here itself. Also along with this, you this platform provides you an opportunity to interact with your like-minded traders and also gives you the summary of my daily analysis you will find the details and the summary along with the video link and yes we can initiate a discussion and all the like-minded traders can engage more than this the interesting part is availability of economic calendar where all the historical data from across the globe along with the future forecast and the current update is everything is available yes you can create your own charts you can search your own live prices of anything be it all global index commodity currency futures everything is available under one in fact you can search for the bonds everything is available here and if you want to consult related to existing position or any futuristic trade with respect to any index commodity or any instrument you can book a call with me here you can schedule a call at a very minuscule fees and definitely it will reap the profits for you so just visit the platform and register yourself at www.forexfunda.com the link is there in the channel and video description now let's have a look at the tech 100 on the early chart see this is the channel which I have been following and I have been sharing with you all the time, all the way since long and precisely so far Tech 100 is just respecting this channel. 
If you look at the prices right now, it is almost has hit the bottom here. That is what it appears on the hourly charts. Thus, it is important for us to observe how Tech 100 behaves at 14200. Below 14200 is where the bears will be taking over. But right now, if you look at it, it is getting stabilized here beyond 14250 levels. Certainly, a little retracement on the upside can be expected. See, too much of divergence from the moving average calls for it to converge. And there is going to be an increasing probability that 14400 levels, which are the greater support earlier, is now going to be the greatest resistance. If you look at a stock as this is oversold, the MACD has hit a bottom here at minus 100. It is trying to converge and a crossover from here can bring slight bullishness or retracement on the upside. RSI is extremely oversold, thus a little retracement cannot be denied here. On the 2 hour chart, similar object achieving the highs of this channel, it has hit a bottom and see how beautifully it has respected the channel so far. I need not say you have all observed this in the recent past. When I had mentioned that a sell from these levels, 15,350 is expected and see what a massive drop is what we have seen. Now here on the two hour charts, likewise, it is getting the support and it is trying to reverse here. There is a possibility of a retracement. How high? Yes, uh, it can take a little time and try to move gradually since as long as the moving average com comes down and touch towards 14,400, 450 zone. The stock has to oversold, MACD divergent and bearish, RSI oversold, extremely oversold, extremely bearish here. Now, see, uh, when anything goes oversold, it does not mean that it is must to re for it to. Re it can continue with the bearish momentum. The stock has to oversold, might be divergent bearish. See, I need not touch upon the indicator that everything is oversold with the massive, massive move here. Now, look at the four hour charts. The interesting part is the bearishness getting diminished. Yes, the markets though are close. However, the candle sizes are getting diminished. Also, the preceding candle stayed outside Bollinger Band. This is important to note that staying outside Bollinger Bands calls for it to uh, a little recovery. The stock stick is oversold here. MACD is also divergent and bearish. It can probably converge. RSI is also oversold. Coming to the daily. Now, this is important on the daily chart. See, retracement. And as we mentioned yesterday, that once it breaks below 14,600, do not think of buying tech 100. First target should be at 14,400. See, this is breach. It has moved towards 14,200 levels. Also, one must note, after the retracement, this is the first bearish candle of almost uh, you can see 500 points, 550 points. And now this candle, if even if you consider half the size of this, it may try to move towards 14,000 levels. There is a probability the second red candle may appear here in succession. A stock stick here is looking down. MACD is divergent and bearish and RSI at bottom. So looking at this, I will recommend you to sell today at 14,200 levels and buying at 14,260. So if you are buying at 14,260, remember 14,315. 14,360, uh, then 14,410, three levels, major resistances, and only and only 14,410, 14,425 levels it reaches. You can say that it is trying to reverse and a further rise towards 14,500, 600 levels can be expected. Chances appear to be less, but these are markets as we have seen it trading at oversold zone. On the downside, you can sell here at 14,200, but this time staying below 14,200, uh, possibility for it to get the support at 14, 40 levels yes very good support this despite there is a nearby support at 14 175 65 zone but i will expect it to drop towards 14 140 then 14 0 9 0 and then 14 000 levels should be seen today itself so take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at down see us 30 on the daily charts breaking out here very critical levels here below 32 900 and 32 800 do not think of buying us 30 today below 32 900 and 800 levels do not think of buying us 30 today we can look forward to 32 600 but before i come to the daily charts let's have a look at the early charts here on the early charts uh yes the price is retraced getting the support here beyond 33,000. yes there will be a slight rise but then 33050 33, it is only about 33100 where the bulls might be seen the stock has taken rising from the oversold magdi bearish rsi is flat Coming to two hour charts, on the two hour charts, likewise, lower highs, higher lows are seen. Wait for it to stay above 33, 33, 100 zone. Beyond that is where the recovery will be seen. Else, you must note that how stronger is the resistance at 33, 200, 250. Multiple candles trying to break out has shown a massive reversal. The stochastic oversold, MACD bearish, and it is still scope for it to continue with the bearishness. RSI is flat near to bottom. 
on the three arch are similar observation but only thing is that look at the bearishness here look at the size of the candle here so once it reverses from here certainly little retracement towards 33 100 cannot be denied but that is also not the confirmation of a reversal oversold indicators macd crossing over for sell rsi staying flat on the four hour charts likewise see most important part is uh us 30 breaking out here on the downside and now trying to reverse so yes once it stays below 30 to 900 do not think buying us 30 once it stays below 30 to 900 it is going to crash 30 to 800 30 to 600 are the targets here below 30 to 800 we may see it landing to 30 to 600 oversold indicators macd again converging crossing over and rsi staying flat and on the daily charts this is most important observation here see it is giving a breakout once it stays below 30 to 900 there could be an increasing bearishness taking it till towards 30 to 600 and below be watchful there the stock stochastic is rising here the magni is still divergent and bearish and rsi is flat at bottom so looking at this you can buy at 33000 but with a caution note that 33100 it needs to break pass by in order to confirm a reversal there else there is a probability for it to Again, from 33,100 levels, this zone today at 33, 33, 100 is going to remain a greater resistance. On the downsides, stay short below 32,900. No looking back there. We can see. In fact, I will recommend you to sell at 32,940. Expect 32,900, 800, and 600 levels. Uh, some point of time today, breaking below 32,800 is where, or rather, I will say, breaking below 32,900, more bearishness is going to prevail. Take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship by signals channel. Join my free telegram channel for live updates. And yes, reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. My forexfunder.com platform is available for all your trading related needs. Just visit the platform, register yourself. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day. See you again before the US session for more updates. Thank